Welcome back to All Things Probing, where in this video we will be demonstrating how to set a work offset using the Renishaw Inspection Plus Diameter inside and outside three-point probing cycles for any bore or boss type features. This will be a multi-video training tutorial series covering all things probing. We will go through both the basic and advanced features of probing in Mastercam and the probe operation of your machine. So make sure to follow along, like, and subscribe as we dive in. To begin, we can open up Mastercam and our sample part file. Because of the bore and boss features are located on my working plane's origin, and because those features have an interrupted cutout and don't complete a full arc, the diameter inside and outside three-point datum cycles are perfect for setting the work offset, as they will probe the user-defined vector angles, naturally finding the center and setting it to my zero position. Let's click on the Cycle Probing icon located on our Probing tab and go to the Workpiece Datum category. We are going to start with the diameter inside three-point cycle. The workflow will be identical to our previous probing cycles, and because I already had selected a probe, we can then bypass this and enter an operation comment if we wish. If you do not already have a probe defined, please watch our tutorial video on how to define a probe. Next, we will click on the Cycle tab, followed by right-clicking in the Geometry section. You will notice that now in this cycle, we have the option to select our geometry from arcs. This can either be wireframe and or solid edges. Once we select on our one inch diameter arc, probing is associated to that geometry, and we can start defining specifics to this probe path. Looking at our current settings, you'll notice that the X axis, Y axis, diameter, and vector angles were all defined based on my selected geometry. We can then define the specific measuring height, safety distance, clearance height, and a few others parameters for this particular path as needed. You can define the measuring height by simply typing in a number, using your right-click menu and accessing the option of Z-coordinate of a point, or use the center mouse wheel in order to scroll up or down, as this will increase or decrease the value. I will set mine to a negative 0 0.250. You will notice at this time the safety distance is an optional parameter. This can be used if there was an obstruction that would prevent the probe from simply moving straight across at its measuring depth in order to probe other points. If we enable this and set it to 0 0.125, we will now see that the probe positions and retracts an eighth inch from the wall and returns to the clearance height at which it will reposition to the other locations. In our example, I will disable this option and then set my clearance height, which is the height that the probe rapids to from and in between cycles. Now that we have the basic values input, you can see a visual of the probe path on your screen and can adjust any of the values in order to get live updated feedback. We can then set the over travel distance if you wish, as this will allow the probe to travel past the expected coordinates without alarming out. We will also set the work offset number that we are currently using and wish to update, which will be G154P10. Within the cycle, you have an option to print data, which would print out a probing report based on a machine's IO channel and parameters. We can also shift the work offsets by a certain value in either the X or Y axis by using the datum set point options. You'll also notice a suppress probe on and off and a measurement result checkbox. The suppress probe on off will keep the probe turned on while it's probing in between cycles and can be set per operation. Measurement result will allow you to copy the probe's results into specific variables of your CNC control. This way they can be referenced later. This is important because the standard variables that Renishaw writes into are constantly being overridden per probing cycle. The feature to feature option will be covered in its own tutorial. Once you check out of the cycle, you can simulate it within back plot, verify or machine simulation and see how it looks. You will notice that the cycle will probe each user defined vector angle, finding the center location and setting it to my origin. Now that we have seen how to probe a bore on your part and set it as a zero point, let's switch gears and show an example. 
In order to pick up off of a boss feature, we will begin by clicking on the cycle probing icon, workpiece datum, diameter outside three points. We will enter an operation comment, click on the cycle tab and then right click in the geometry section. Similar to diameter inside, the diameter outside will allow for the same geometry selection of arcs. Again, arcs will allow you to select on the wireframe and or solid edges. Once we select our one and a half inch diameter arc, probing is associated to that geometry and we can start defining additional parameters for this probe path. Again, you'll notice that the x-axis, y-axis, diameter, and vector angles were all defined based on my selected geometry. Let's again define our measuring height to a negative 0.250, our safety distance to a positive 0.250, and our clearance height to one inch. We can then enable our over travel distance and set it to 0.125. We should now see a visual path on our part and can adjust any of the settings if needed. Before closing out, the last thing I will set is our current work offset number to be updated on the machine, which will be G154P10. Once we click OK, you can again simulate it within Backplot, Verify, or Machine Simulation and see how it looks. You will notice that this time it will probe each user-defined vector, but on the outside of the arc for a boss. Let's post it out and see how the code looks, along with how it would run on the machine. Looking at the Renishaw inspection code for our Haas mill, you'll notice that the program is nice and short, and the code is very easy to read. As we go through, you will find your probe on and off commands. The probe's protected safety moves in order to approach and retract from the part safely, along with the diameter inside three-point cycle and the specific vector angles in which we will probe the part. Next will be the Q value, which defines the over-travel distance, along with the S number, which will be the work offset number that we are updating on the machine. We will then see the actual and deviation results, which are being copied into my user-defined variable numbers, so I can reference them or display them on my control. We will then repeat the same process for the boss cycle, but notice that this time, because I am using my safety distance, we will then define the height at which we wish to measure, keeping in mind that we are currently compensating for the probe radius along with our R value, which defines our standoff distance. All of this information can be referenced in the Renishaw Inspection Plus manual. We hope that you have found this video beneficial. For further information, questions, or to request a free 30-day trial of Mastercam probing, please visit mastercam.com. Thanks for watching.